Cdata Arc is an EDI and MFT automation platform, and one of its exciting new features is the ability to better enforce service level agreements, or SLAs, with your trading partners by configuring SLA settings in Arc's connectors. So let's see how that works. Here in Arc's flow canvas, I have a workflow configured that exchanges and integrates EDI documents with a trading partner. Let's say that this partner is sending me EDI 850 purchase orders, and I fulfill the orders and respond with an EDI 810 invoice. As part of my relationship with this partner, there might be an SLA, or perhaps a less formal expectation, that they send me three or more EDI documents a day. I could simply monitor the application through the dashboard and pay attention to how many transactions are processed by the connectors for this partner, but of course that's a lot of effort and puts the onus on me to detect any drops in volume. The new SLAs feature within Arc's connectors can automate this detection process so that you receive automatic alerts if the volume of transactions processed by a certain connector drops below the expected threshold. In our example, we want to be alerted if we receive fewer than three purchase orders from this trading partner per day. To start, I'll open the connector that receives messages from this trading partner and head to the Alerts Configuration tab. In this Service Level Agreement section, I can configure new criteria that helps Arc know when to alert me due to unexpectedly low volume. I'll add new criteria with this button, and then I can configure the details of this new SLA. First, in this example, I'm expecting to receive three purchase orders daily, so I'll set three as the expected number of transactions to be processed. Then, I want to make sure I toggle this Receive criteria, because this SLA is related to receiving inbound EDI documents. Next, I want to configure the time duration in which I'm expecting to receive these inbound purchase orders, which in this case would be 24 hours. And perhaps this expectation only applies to workdays, so I'll uncheck this Every Day box and see that only Monday through Friday are now considered. Finally, I have the option to set an At Risk status. This will warn me if the time duration is close to elapsing, but I haven't yet hit the expected threshold of transactions. This is an optional second layer of visibility, in case it's important that I preempt the violation of the SLA and reach out to my trading partner before the time is up. If I want to receive alerts when this SLA is at risk, I would click the checkbox here at the bottom and then configure how much time should be remaining in the SLA duration when ARC considers this SLA at risk. And that's all I need to configure, so at this point I can save my changes and ARC will immediately begin enforcing the criteria I just established and alerting my system admin if an SLA is violated. If you're unsure where these alerts are going, you can click this Configure Alerts button to be taken to the settings page where you configure the email address of your system admin. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.